What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners for today's 10-game NBA main slate, courtesy of Osimo.com and presented by Superdraft. We've got ourselves 10 games today, and unlike some of these other big slates, this one is absolutely loaded with some of the best games we've had in fantasy this year, including one I'm going to talk about a lot today. So let's get that power of positivity back in the air. And right now, please hit that like button. If you want a chance to win a free month of Osimo Plus courtesy of Superdraft, like this video and comment your top value play down in the comments below. Yesterday, nobody got Tristan Thompson correctly. I don't know how you could have, but anyway, you get back on track today by right now liking this video and commenting your top value play according to DraftKings salaries down below. But I'm fired up for this one, so let's get right into our first corner of the top owned plays in Terrence Ross in the game at Phoenix. There's 106.8 implied points for Orlando. Ross is 26% expected ownership on DraftKings while he's 11% on FanDuel. Ross would benefit if Aaron Gordon, currently a game time decision, misses the game. And he could still benefit overall with DJ Augustine now opening up some additional use usage and ball handling time in that second unit. Another top owned play, particularly on FanDuel, looks like Bobby Portis in a game versus New Orleans, where it's 111.3 implied points for the Knicks. Portis has 11% expected ownership on DraftKings, while he'll be the top play with 49% on FanDuel. Portis wasn't priced up on FanDuel after his monster 40.75 fantasy point day with 26% usage against the tougher Utah team on the road. And he looks fine on both sites again with Julius Randle out and Marcus Morris downgraded to doubtful. And a top owned play on both sites looks like LaMarcus Aldridge in a game at Memphis, where there's 114.8 implied points for San Antonio. Aldridge has 24% expected ownership on DraftKings while he has 33% on FanDuel. Aldridge had 65.75 fantasy points with 39% usage in his last game against Memphis, and it remains a good matchup for him with Jaron Jackson and Jonas Valanciunas both individually weak at defending parts of LMA's game that give him his most fantasy value. Now for our next corner, let's talk about some of the top value plays on the slate, starting with Jordan McRae in that game versus Atlanta, where there's 119 implied points for Washington. Despite his raised price, McRae looks like a top value industry-wide with a killer matchup versus Atlanta that would be better if Bradley Beal misses, but still offers opportunity if he's in. Another top value today looks like the Manja Bielitsa in a game versus Milwaukee where there's 108 implied points for Sacramento. Bielitsa saw 38 minutes last game with Rashawn Holmes' sideline, and he'd feel more secure if the questionable Marvin Bagley misses, but either way, he should see minutes and looks from deep against Milwaukee. And our last top value is Isaiah Thomas in the game versus Atlanta where there's 119 implied points for Washington. IT is a hard time getting a full allotment of minutes, but if there ever were a game for him to heat up and earn those, this is it with his price now exceedingly low after repeatedly being outperformed by Ish Smith. And now for our next corner, here are some other core plays on the slate, starting with Trey Young in that game at Washington, where there's 118 implied points for Atlanta. Trey went for 80.25 fantasy points despite 11 for 30 shooting in a comparably high-paced spot versus Houston. Now we'll get a Washington team with a 114 defensive rating who gets slaughtered by point guards. Another core play today looks like Brandon Ingram in a game at the Knicks, where there's 115.3 implied points for New Orleans. Ingram has 56.5 and 61.5 fantasy points in his last two games without Drew Holiday and much tougher matchups versus Utah and Chicago. Chicago, then this one with an elevated price that'll keep his ownership fairly reasonable. And our last core play looks like Kawhi Leonard in a game versus Golden State where there's 117.3 implied points for the Clippers. Paul George is out and Kawhi averages 1.6 fantasy points per minute with a 37% usage rate in court time without him, with the risk of a blowout at home the real concern in this game for Kawhi. And now for our next corner here are some lower owned dart throws that I'm expecting to have tonight, starting with Avika Zubac in that same game versus Golden State where there's 117.3 implied points for the Clippers. Zubac averages 1.2 fantasy points per minute in court time with Kawhi and without Paul George, and that's a situation he'll have tonight in a very winnable spot against the Warriors. Another lower owned dart throw to consider today is DeMontis Sabonis in a game at Chicago where there's 107.8 implied points for Indiana. Sabonis is questionable and his price is up, two factors that'll drive down his ownership. But if he's in, he's in an unbelievable smash spot against Chicago with no quality bigs and an already top center matchup in the league. And our last of the dart throws is John Collins in that monster game at Washington where there's 118 implied points for Atlanta. Collins will start at center, a boost to his prospects, and he currently seems significantly under-owned due to his rising price price with a killer matchup and a high likelihood of a competitive game on the road. So that's what I'm seeing so far for today's 10 game slate. So right now, please hit that like button. And if you want a chance to win that free month of Osmo Plus courtesy of Superdraft, like this video and comment your top value play according to DraftKings salaries down below. And as always, those free months of Osmo Plus come courtesy of Superdraft. So right now, head over to Superdraft.io. If you use the promo code Osmo, you can get yourself $20 free instantly with a $100 deposit. So go right now to Superdraft.io and use that promo code Osmo and use that 20 bucks free to get yourself into their multiplier tournament style, a brand new game where you don't have to know salaries, just pick your guys and go. That's superdraft.io. And today is the last day of our New Year's deal, so use this promo code 2020 for 20 days for 20 bucks of Osmo Plus Premium, all access, all sports. So go right now to osmo.com slash join and use that promo code 2020 because the deal expires for 20 days for 20 bucks at midnight tonight. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I've got a day full
full of content coming up today and my own personal podcast hits the internet streets tomorrow. You should be subscribed and checking it out. So go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I'll be back on Live Before Lock later today with my pal, the Chubster, Josh Engelman. So tune in then. Of course, I'll be back with you guys on Monday for another Four Corners. So if you guys have a great weekend, enjoy tonight's Hawks-Wizards game because that's going to be a monster one. I'm so excited for that one. No defense, all scoring. That's what I want in every aspect of my life. I'll see you guys again soon. So enjoy. Good luck.